What's up techies? How to create a discussion area inside your Techmatics account. Now at the time of filming this, October 2022, we don't yet have a full blown inbuilt communities feature. We are working on this. We don't have any set deadline for that at the moment. It's not going to be an immediate release. Um, we're hoping that uh, sometime in late 2023, we will certainly have something inbuilt. However, there certainly is a workaround at the moment that will not require you to pay for external communities tools. And that is using the comments and discussions feature. So every time you go and actually create a new product, which you do going to sites and courses, memberships and courses and products, this is where you actually create your courses, where you upload your digital files and so on that you're going to sell. This is where you can go into the particular course or product that you want to add communities to. And there are a number of different ways that you can do this. You can then go into the comments section and you can turn comments on or off in different lessons. Now, I would recommend keeping all of your discussion area in one single lesson rather than having them spread out across all of your lessons because that's just going to be hard to administer later. So what I would probably do, for instance, is inside your introductory module, 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 you go to uh, that particular module, I would press add a post and I would call this discussion area, for example. So let's press save on that discussion area. And once you're inside that lesson, click on that here. Um, quite simply, we're going to, um, uh, sorry, we don't do it from here. We're going to enable discussions on that particular lesson. So if I now go to comments, I go to that particular lesson and enable discussion. Um, in that lesson now, um, I don't think we have to press save on that. No, we don't. Now I can actually go back to my main product. I can now go to my discussion area. Now, if you don't add a video here, that's fine. It basically will be just the discussion area that shows. You might like to have a video to say, hello, and welcome to the discussion area, drop your questions here, blah, blah, blah. Or you may just like to completely leave the file upload blank and just in here put in, welcome to the discussion area, leave your questions below, for instance. Obviously, it might not be questions. I'm just doing an example here. And now I'm going to press, uh, let's turn that into a heading so it's nice and big. I'm going to then turn it to published and press save. And I'll just show you what this looks like. And I found that this uh, works quite well. So if I go to preview this as a student, it's going to take us to this course area. Just give my internet a moment to catch up with us. And here we go. So you see here, because I didn't add a lesson, there was no, there's no video. I didn't add any video content or anything here. Um, this is where I can just literally go in and say, thanks for this community area. Oopsie. Love it. All right. And I'm going to press post. Boom. And so now people can reply um, and it's basically just kind of like a chat area at the moment. So this is going to work great if you just want chats to happen. You just want instructors to be able to go in and reply to different comments. Um, you can obviously change, by the way, um, whether only instructors can comment or whether uh, anyone can basically go in and comment on here. Um, you can change that in your settings area. But that is basically how you can uh, create uh, a discussion lesson. Now, you can, if you are already using an external discussion platform like Circle or Communities platform, you know, like Mighty Networks or anything like that, you can also add those in as an iframe. So you can go to quite simply your lesson area. You can press add a post. Um, and let's just call this um, Community area and press save and now what you can do is you can basically go and grab your iframe your embed code for that community area that you use you click on this little embed feature here you paste in your embed code here and what will happen is when the student views this lesson they will actually have the interactive community area inside this lesson. So there is actually another video on how to do iframe or embed lessons, but that is the other workaround if you're already using some kind of external communities platform. So look, it's not absolutely perfect, but they are two solutions to basically have a full blown community feature is by either embedding or iframing in an existing external platform or by simply turning comments on in a lesson that you've called discussion area, which will enable you to 
to then go in and uh, collect those questions. And I'm going to just delete this because we don't want to keep this in here. But hopefully that gives you some tips and ideas. If you've got any questions, contact us on support at techmatics.com. Otherwise, happy tech in.